Alrighty, today we're going to be learning about multiplying and dividing integers. So lucky for us, multiplication and division have the same rules. So we're going to start with what happens when we have the same sign, which means they're both positive or both negative. And when that happens, let me see if I can write in here, the answer is always positive. So if you're multiplying or dividing two positives or two negatives, the answer is always positive. So we'll start with our easy peasy example of six times seven, positive six times positive seven was 42. The actual multiplying and dividing part is the same as it was when you were little. It's just um, now figuring out if the answer is going to be positive or negative. So example B has two negatives being multiplied. Negative nine times negative five is positive five because we have two signs that are the same, both negatives. Same goes for division. 27 divided by three is just positive nine and negative 24 divided by negative eight is positive. So anytime we multiply or divide two numbers that are the same sign, the answer is positive. So let's try an example where we're multiplying three numbers together. We do that by first multiplying the first two. Negative three times negative four is positive 12. And then positive 12 times positive three, of course, is positive 36. For example, F right here, we wanna know what number multiplied by negative five would give us a positive 20. Well, it can't be four because then our signs wouldn't be the same, so the answer wouldn't be positive. So it's gonna to have to be a negative four because we know that negative four times negative five with the signs being the same would equal positive 20. Over here, I know that X has to be a negative number in order for me to have a positive answer, um, but it's not gonna be a whole number, is it? We're gonna to have to divide both sides by negative 30 because that is um, how we solve a one-step equation. So 75 divided by 30 is two and a half. But I know it has to be a negative two and a half in order for my answer to be positive because a negative 30 needs to be multiplied by another negative in order for the answer to be positive. And for H, in order to get a positive nine, I have to have a negative number up where the X is right here. This has to be a negative number so that we have a negative divided by a negative to give us a positive. And the number that we need to divide negative eight by to get nine is gonna be whatever eight times nine is, right? So that's gonna be 72. So negative 72 divided by negative eight equals positive nine. So my answer is negative 72. Okay, we're gonna come back to this example in just a minute. I wanna look over here at what happens when um, our signs are different. Then the product of the quotient would be negative. This works for multiplying and for dividing. So if I have a negative four times a positive nine, the answer is gonna be negative 36 because I have different signs, one positive and one negative. And for the next example, five times 12 is 60 but five times negative 12 is gonna be negative 60 because a negative times a positive is a negative. For C, I'm gonna get negative five because 45 by nine is five, but if I have two different signs, the answer is negative. And that's the same reason why we have a negative seven for D. Um, for example, E, it says to solve X divided by Y if X is 12 and Y is negative three. So 12 divided by negative three would give us negative four. This example, negative three times 20 is negative 60. And then negative 60 divided by 15 is gonna give me negative four. So I have a negative divided by a positive. For G, I have two A, which means two times A. So two times negative two divided by negative four negative four divided by negative four. And remember from the other side of the notes that if we have signs that are the same, a negative divided by a negative, the answer is positive. And then last, let's see, we've got these examples where we're missing a number. So we wanna know what number times negative 12 is negative 72. Well, it's definitely gonna be positive in order for me to get that negative answer. A negative times a positive gives me a negative. And I can just do 72 divided by 12, which is six. And then we want to know what number divide or negative 96 divided by what number is negative 12. 
So I can do 96 divided by 12. It's not going to go, oh, it is going to go unevenly, so it's 8. <laughs> so um, 8 times 12 is 96, and then this needs to be a positive 8 in order for this answer to be negative, because a negative divided by a positive is a negative. So that brings us to the spot that we skipped, which is right here. It says, um, are these the same? Negative 9 squared and parentheses negative 9 squared. And of course, you probably guessed the answer is no. Otherwise, we wouldn't be asking you, right? So let's look at why the answer is no. The answer is no because this one is just saying, what is the opposite of 9 times 9? which would be negative one. But this one is asking you, what is negative nine times itself two times? And that's positive 81. Think of it this way, that the variable, I mean, not the variable, the exponent goes with whatever it's touching. So this, in this case, it's only touching the nine. So it's the nine that we're multiplying times itself. But in the second example, it's touching the parentheses. So it's everything in parentheses being multiplied by itself. That's every math teacher's favorite question asked on a test about this topic. So I'm sure you understand that. Thanks for watching.